Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my typical nighttime routine. So I was going to start this video like right after I got home from class just to show you what all I do in a night, but I came home and I was really tired and ended up taking a nap for like an hour, which is honestly what I typically do after class. I'm not even going to lie. And then I did some homework for a few hours because I have an online class this semester and it was just really confusing and I needed to get a lot done. So I did that and then Cole and I ended up eating dinner and now it's after dinner. I've relaxed for a little bit and I'm going to be showing you guys what I do in the evening to prep to go to bed. What do I do to prepare for that? So sorry in advance because I know this lighting isn't the best. But what I'm going to start with is I usually put my hair up and then take my makeup off because I'm going to hop in the shower and I wash my face after the shower but I just take my makeup off so I can like usually like rub my face in the shower and I just don't like having mascara run all down my face so I look like a raccoon. So I just have the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes and I don't know if this is gross or if anyone else does this, but like I usually don't wear that much makeup during the day, like to class. It's usually just like some concealer and then like a little bit of bronzer and um, mascara. So I usually reuse the wipes because I like don't get that much makeup on them when I'm taking my makeup off. So, don't know if that's gross or not, but it's what I do. My face gets really red. I don't know if you guys can tell when I do this. I just have such sensitive skin, and my skin is not the best. don't know why I do literally everything to try and take care of it. It just doesn't, just doesn't cooperate with me. So, after that, I'm going to start the shower and get ready to head in. So now that I'm done showering, I think what I'm going to do tonight, because I've just been really stressed out, is I want to do a face mask. Number one, they're just good for your skin. And like I said, I've been stressed, so I just kind of want to relax, do that. And usually when I do that, I'll just go out and like sit with Cole or something, watch some TV, because they usually have to leave on for like 15 minutes. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay, so I decided to use this Pores Be Pure Mud Mask. I think I got it from Ulta a little bit ago. I really love it. I have not used it too much recently, but now that I'm back in school, I want to use it a lot. And I have this little um, like brush thing that I used to put this stuff on. I got this with, with another face mask, but now I just use it for all my face masks. So I'm just going to take a little dab and start rubbing it on all of the spots that I want it to be which is with me like pretty much everywhere because my pores are just so bad if you guys know anything to do I have a dermatologist appointment I think in November but if you guys have any tips or tricks on just how to minimize your pore size let your girl know because like I said I feel like I've legit tried everything and nothing works for me, so. Okay, so I lied. I think what I might do now is brush my hair because recently, for some reason, my hair's been getting so knotted. Like, literally just all day any day. I tried to do something new with it last night to sleep on it also. <laughs> I look like this so sorry. Um so hopefully it didn't make it as knotted. I also don't know ever what to do 
when I like sleep with my hair. Like as you guys um, can see, yeah, great. Um, and I just recently, like in the last few months, have dyed it. So I don't know if it has anything to do with that, but. I like was reading last night and they said like sleep on a silk pillowcase or like wrap it in a silk scarf and your girl does not have that stuff so if anyone again knows any other tips or tricks please let me know and so sorry because this is probably gonna take me like 10 years to brush through so wish me luck I did last night must have helped because that like really didn't compare to a few nights that really didn't take me that long to brush through so that's good so I think one of the things that helped me with my hair last night was I used this John Frieda luxurious volume fine to full blowout spread but I just like kind of sprayed this all over my hair and then my hair is like naturally curly so I just kind of like messed with it, teased it a little bit and then just let it fully dry because I usually like put it up in a bun or something and let it, let it dry that way and sleep with it and I think that was my problem that I just need to like fully let it dry and then like sometimes I'll like twist it into a bun when I sleep but I think my problem is I need to let it fully dry so hopefully it'll be like this tomorrow and it wasn't as frizzy today so I'm praying that this is the cure please okay, so I've had my mask on for like 15 minutes so now it's time to take it off and I look like an egg when I do this but let's do more please okay so I don't know about for face masks this is really loud probably I'm so sorry I don't know about for face masks I know I do, I do this with my face wash all the time and I'll show you guys that but I know it's best to wash your face with cold water so that's what I do for this and it always turns out fine so So there's still kind of, not a lot, but some on my face. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently pat my face dry and get the rest of it off, but it's okay, I'm washing my face anyway. So it'll take some of that stuff off. I don't know why there was like a fuzz on my face. So anyway, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser and I use this daily cleanser, really, daily cleanser. I use this every single night. So once again, just kind of wet my face. I usually do like two small pumps, put it on my hand and I just rub it in everywhere. Especially as I said where my pores are the worst like right here and then up on my forehead. So I really scrub that in was that I really wish there was like a short sleeve rope or something because I hate it when it gets wet. It's disgusting. Once again, this is probably so loud and I can't get over how shitty this lighting is. I'm really sorry. But anyway.
now that is done I once again just gently have my face there's still a little bit of makeup under my eyes so finally gonna makeup remover and wipe that off so now that I have done my face mask and washed my face I'm gonna use this Clearasil Daily Clear of Acne Cream and I just put that on spots that are breaking out, which again, right now because I'm so stressed, it's just literally everywhere. I don't know why I have like a huge pimple right there. I'm so cute though, I really love it. So I just kind of have those wherever. I feel like my face just also gets like worse throughout the day. Like, I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I legitly don't really have any of these, like, pimples on my face. And then they just, like, form throughout the day. So, I don't know why my skin does this to me, but shout out to my skin. Um, thanks for ruining my life. And for a while now... My face is gonna look super just red and gross. It usually goes away after a little bit, but I always hate how I look after the shower. Like I know you're supposed to feel like so clean and pretty and I'm just like, ew. I look, I look disgusting. So, love that. And then obviously after that I change into my PJs just wear a, like a big t-shirt to bed. I'm wearing my Eagles Super Bowl champion shirt. Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Eagles. Okay, so that was it for today's video. If you guys want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.